Ooh. Coming up through some woods, following the back up a hill. Should be good fun. Ah, I can see the path going up. Lovely little back. Couple of hours effort in the Lake District. You can get views like this. That's Lake Windermere. It's growing around vital uh, water. Uh, <coughs> looking at yesterday. All those hills in the distance. Just beautiful. We're lucky with the weather today. Up looking up the valley. Amazing. Another stunning valley. Oasis of green, that little valley caught in the sun. Beautiful. Another one ticked off, going around that ridge, the far side, all the way, and then drop off the end back to almost where we started. Another saddle. Horseshoes. You can see so much. Let me get a bit close to the edge. So we're going all the way down that side, all the way down back to Amble side. on the horseshoe bit, it's all over there, and I was coming down and I just noticed a beautiful tarn sitting high in the hills with a bit of a waterfall coming off it, I have to look that up on the map later. That's the one side of the horseshoe.
down the other side, you get a nice V-shaped valley, which I think is river created. Go over that side, you get a U-shaped valley, which is glacial, right beside each other. There you go, geography teachers. Looking down the valley with the rainbow. Perfectly dry where I am, but sheets and sheets of rain coming into the valley beyond. Amazing. And that's Windermere. Last, last mile or so in the uh, horseshoe loop. Um, we do actually end up in that valley that's got all the rain. So that'd be intriguing. Hopefully it might have blown through by the time we get there. from cars, get them going out and going for a walk. Just look at that into the distance. around. 